Hi everybody, Diane from California Tea and Herbal and it's a beautiful overcast day today. I thought it was a perfect time to answer some questions we've had on infusers lately. So I've lined up a few uh, inside, uh, various ways that you can infuse loose tea and hopefully it'll be helpful and fun and you can decide which infuser or which method might be right for you. Let's go on in and look at them. Alright everyone, I have asked my husband to be my uh, kind of demo person here for these infusers and the things that we are showing you that you can use to infuse loose tea today and so he's going to come over here and move them around and show them to you and you're all familiar that with the little bag tea bags you never even have to think about this and so it might seem overwhelming but it's really simple and there's one that'll work best for you. So Vern, let's start out with the tea, uh, the sacks that are made for loose tea. Now we have a huge one here. This is made for a two and a half liter pot, but they come in size for individual cups as well. You just put the tea inside and you put it in the cup or in this little pot or wherever you want to brew your tea. And that's it. When the tea is steeped, you throw it away. Now, the, there are some uh, advantages and disadvantages to this, and we will get into that on all of these quickly. Uh, the next one, Vern, I'd like to show is the one in front here, and it has the hard black plastic around the edges and down the sides and across the bottom for strength, and then it's a fine metal mesh. And this one we personally do not use, but it is one of the options. Um, and what I like about all of these is that they will fit into any of the the cup or the steeper back there, the travel tumbler or the pot. So they'll all work by putting them inside what you want to steep in. The second metal infuser, Vern, I'd like to show with the wide lip there. And that's made by a European company, I believe, very stylish and has the nice fine mesh for rooibos needles uh, and so that's a good option but here's our favorite I'm going to link this below we don't sell it ourselves but you can buy it online and we like that wide open bottom to it and turn to the side yes you can see how fine that is I mean just nothing turn it to the side please Vern nothing gets through there and if you put it in the pot you can see it fits into a small pot or it fits nicely as he'll also show you right into a cup or a mug and another nice thing is that it comes with a lid which keeps the heat in as it's steeping but now I want to talk about technique you can of course steep your tea in a glass pot, ceramic pot, uh, clay, whatever you prefer to use. However, what we do at home is use a stainless steel travel tumbler as I've shown you in other videos. And there are some good reasons. That has the ability to keep the water temperature consistently hot as it steeps, which is so important with tea. And so what we do is put the filtered water and the leaves right into the travel tumbler and cover it and let it just float free and then when it's steeped we actually pour that through the infuser so we don't even use the infuser until the point where the tea is steeped and ready to pour into the cup so I hope this has been very helpful I'm going to also put a picture up of an infuser some of you may have or you've seen used in tea shops and that is where you put the loose tea in the top and after it brews it then is released filtered into the bottom or the little chamber at the bottom um, that one if you enjoy it that's fine but I will tell you from many years of working with loose tea if you can put it in a stainless steel travel tumbler, let it float free and stay at the perfect temp, and then pour it through your infuser into your small pot or cup or mug, I think you'll be very, very happy. 
Well, friends, I hope that was helpful to you in choosing the right infuser for you. And before I go, I want to thank Bill and Elizabeth of Tiny House Prepper Channel. They did a little feature on us. In fact, the whole video they did was a feature on us and way beyond anything they, they had to do because they have about 29,000 subscribers or more. And so they have helped us immensely in getting the word out. Thanks, Bill and Elizabeth. And you have very nice people who follow you because they have come over and many have just been wonderfully commenting. And so we look forward to helping them learn a little bit more about tea here and have some fun with tea. And so I hope this has been helpful and that you'll have a wonderful evening and join us in our next video. Please subscribe, please hit that little bell that tells you when our next video goes up. Like and share, we appreciate you. Bye for now.